what's up guys this is Taya La Huera Loca Lucha Royalty of Lucha Underground and Impact Wrestling and I'm the mayor of Slamtown Johnny Impact Johnny Mundo but tonight I'm Johnny Blackcraft and, and you you're are watching, watching Ambi. Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Johnny Blackcraft and Taya Valkyrie. Hello. What's up? What's up? Here we are. Does anybody else feel like this is like a peanut butter and Johnny Blackcraft sandwich? <laughs> Johnny's in the middle. What Two lovely think, ladies. Is that how you're feeling? To oh, my left, God. to my right. My lovely wife. Lovely wife. She's not mad about me messing up her flight at all. <laughs> <laughs> Some people would harbor a grudge, but she's past <laughs> that. That's water under the bridge. Oh my. Old news. Is that the case? Is it old news, really? It happened like 12 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, 12 hours ago. See, that's, that's the beautiful thing about women in general. They don't stay mad. You know, that's, that's not something that you're going to remember and bring up later when we get to the hotel. It's okay. He'll make it up to me and take me shopping or something nice, right? Sure. That's shopping. There you go. Yep, they are yeah, the yeah, witness. We'll there you go. Yep, sure. witness. <laughs> well, I mean, we did recently see both of you in the ring facing one another, which I absolutely loved. So is that kind of how you enjoy settling some of your arguments? That was actually really fun because we never wrestled before. Like, I against each other yeah always as teammates and whatever but um it was an interesting dynamic and really fun for us to be creative and try something different and the fans loved it and it was really great i don't and know ultimately i think the best way fun. to decide who should do the dishes you know what i mean much <laughs> every better, time just go in the ring well much yeah. better than like a, than an argument or like and if you a haven't seen the match upset. if you haven't seen the match it's on my youtube channel well look at tv w-e-r-a-l-o CA TV with uh, some fun color, color commentary from Johnny and I. So, yeah, That's you should awesome. check it out. Check it out. Don't be stupid. Don't <laughs> be stupid. <laughs> and was it just a long time coming because the opportunity just really wasn't there and you were always teaming so much? Or what was the reason for... Well, it was for a charity. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, no. Go ahead. <laughs> Please. No, no. Uh, I'm fine with it. As long as we're on the same page uh, about not being mad about was, that flight thing. <laughs> it was a charity event for my one of my best friend, Holly Meowie's... Uh, cat rescue charity called the LA Cat Club so we wanted to do something fun and different and, uh, and you know we've really liked working with each other but um, we've always been on the same team and uh, it was a really cool time to have that be the first time that we got to you know stand toe to toe yeah. look each other eye to eye and, and figure out you know guess who won well I mean it's not, it's not about that really it's like the really the winner was the fans in attendance because oh. um, they yeah, got the to cat, see the cats won and the cats the, the LA Cat Club is doing a lot of uh Great things for, for a lot of uh, cats. Felines. With that uh, <laughs> Taya versus Johnny money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely way to look at it. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> well, today we are here at Blackcraft Wrestling. It is the debut Burning Bridges show. It's been phenomenal so far. We saw you in the ring. Yes. You see me at the Heights. Such a good match. You were soon to be in a triple threat match main eventing. So being a part of Blackcraft, we kind of touched on this last night. But just for the fans joining this interview, tell me a little bit about the experience. It's such an awesome company. Well, I mean, first of all, like, it's got to be really cool for, for Blackcraft Wrestling to be named after Johnny Blackcraft. Of course. I mean, what an honor it is for them to, to have me, you know, as, as, their, as their main guy, as the top guy, and, uh, and name their whole clothing company and all those t-shirts and Hot Topic after me. Um, but uh, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, uh, Blackcraft Wrestling has really done a great job of distinguishing itself as a brand. It's uh, pre-existed as, as a brand with a lot of cool shirts and stuff and yeah. Hot Topic. But the way that the show looks is ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like the, the video packages they have for promoting the next event and the way that they they have incorporated music and the different kind of feel and the energy and the, the selection the vibe. of this venue too in general. Yeah, it's the like vibe a really cool, so like cool old church with these arches and things. It feels yeah. like it fits very well with what Blackcraft is in general. Yeah. And all that stuff, the art direction and the set design is something that a lot of times is overlooked in wrestling. Mm -hmm. And it's part of what is making this show so dope. And stand out, for sure. Yeah, well, I was wondering for you guys, with so many matches under your belts, are there any nerves when you step down that ramp, or are those long gone by now? I still get nervous. Yeah. I think it's normal. If it, You keep getting nervous. You're always nervous because you care. You know, we care. We want to put on the best show possible for our fans and stuff, but I also believe that the second that I step in the ring, or the second I step through that curtain, it kind of all, like, melts away. You look so confident when you come down Thank that ramp. Thank you. Um, but it's, yeah, there's always nerves. Today, for example, is the first of my face, Samantha, so I didn't know what to expect and everything, but um, you know, and there's always travel uh, problems that come in the way, so you're always Sometimes, a little rushed. Always. Or, you know, there's always something that <laughs> something happens that might happens. stress you out or make you a little bit nervous. But uh, <laughs> it all worked out, and honestly, that's what makes it, you know, this is a, an exciting experience for us over and over again. It never gets old, and I mean... And, you know, there's other things that make you this. less nervous, too, like when you get here and someone's gotten you a Red Bull, 
and like maybe some Sour Patch Kids. And, and fake eyelashes. And fake he eyelashes. went to the store and bought me fake eyelashes. <laughs> That's what suits well, to, you. To, to make I up for the, uh, the, the You know, that shows, that shows a good, a good husband right there. Oh, there's, there's a balance. <laughs> the guy, like the moon walks the wings, like the, the husband's like a, you know. Imagine Johnny Blackcraft buying fake eyelashes. Right? You know? I feel like that's something that's probably not that foreign to a lot of the black craft uh, cult, I guess <laughs> what they, they're, they're calling yeah? it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Of, you know, like a lot of emo, 2018. Uh, emo uh, like, uh, goth kids running around with like, eyeliner and fake eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. Coming to Blackcraft events. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you guys. <laughs> oh, Not my gosh. Ask, headbands run in the whole family? Was this kind of like your side? You, you know, you've been wearing headbands and he did, or did it come because Johnny used to wear them all the time? Okay. How did that come bandanas together? Bandanas came about because I have always worn bandanas my whole time in Mexico when I was with Ferro Stamal, like literally for years and years and years. And then I was wearing them on Lucha Underground when I uh, came over to work for them. Um, and then Johnny started wearing bandanas. And then, like, our faction got a ban- got yeah. bandanas printed. And now printed. we're all, bandana and now we all wear bandanas. <laughs> but they're the like, bandanas custom. have evolved. They've like, become yeah. really cool. Yeah, and, like, you know, certain seasons had different colors. And, yeah. Oh, uh, we got a ton of colors. Yeah, there's a lot. We got a ton of colors, and they're for sale at wrestling events that we go to. People uh, so, love them. Collect I mean, them. Like, even yeah. if you're, like, kind of like an emu goth kid Sweet. and you want to nice did you say emu yeah like the birds emo I know, no no like I know I was, <laughs> there's emo kids but there's also emu kids that are on a high protein diet I said that on sure. purpose clearly okay. I, I right. know the difference oh between God. emo and emu <laughs> obviously I'm Johnny yeah. Blackcraft but if uh, an emu kid like uh, wanted to like have a bandana to match the color of like a like a bird we've got lots of colors we've got orange we've got purple we've got yellow uh, we've got Pink, bird color yeah lime green yeah. black anyways they're really fun and uh, yeah that's how it started was because I was I was wearing them first, mm-hmm. and then, uh, yeah. And now people think uh, Johnny Blackcraft, they think bandanas. They think, you know, hey, <laughs> that guy is the bandana king. Yeah, you know? there's a lot of bandanas in our house. <laughs> yeah? yeah. <laughs> I love seeing you both with them, and the fact that they don't come off during the matches is, I think, the most impressive part or, of it Yeah, and if they do, it's like an organically, like a just We, we talk about that. Like, yeah. the organic loss of the bandana is, is a big turning point in a match. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's, she's getting serious Well, that's that how you know it's a barn burner. <laughs> oh my god, she lost the bandana. Uh oh. It's going down. Let me get serious. That's how you actually watched my recent interview with Johnny, and there was a little bit of a debate, and fans even got in on this where he was saying, You threw away a pair of his shorts, and you tweeted us, and you said, I didn't. We still have them. Okay. So let's clear this all up. So there are these blue corduroy shorts that he has literally had since he was in high school that are the most horrible looking. I mean, I. Horrible is subjective. That's an opinion. <laughs> You're entitled to your opinion, but that's subjective. She asked me the question. I'm answering the question. Mm -hmm. And Johnny said that I threw them out. I did not throw them out. They are still at home. When we get home, I will tweet a photo to you. I exaggerated, uh, okay? She said she (laughs) wanted to throw them out. She threatened to throw them out. I thought. But I'm also respectful, and I would never just throw throw something out. out. I make jokes about it all the time because, uh, you know, who doesn't want. I mean, I love going through my closet and getting rid of things and stuff like that, cleaning. So it means spring you get new things. Spring cleaning, right? And then <laughs> so you can have more room for new things. From both sides. Like, fact, rah, che- rah, fact, rah. Check- like che- fact checking our old interview. Now we're talking Anyways. about shorts that I had in high school that you <laughs> didn't throw out. The fact that you still fit them is impressive, though. It is impressive, right? isn't it? Yeah. It's like a long but time. They are, the blue shorts I, still have another day. When I, They're when corduroy. I them in high school, though, they were way too big for me because I thought that that was cool back then. Oh, so like the oversized? Oh, yeah. Like okay. big, old, big old shorts. And is it true that one of the fanny packs also gave you hives? You the mentioned what? one of the fanny packs gave you hives, apparently. He wears these gold fanny packs. Wait, they, they, they actually did. I thought you were joking about No, one. like, no. they give me hives as in, like, I'm just like, ugh. Like, gotcha. I just, like, ugh. Like, I just, they're, I can't, I can't deal with it. They don't give them. anyone hives. They're a great fashion accessory. Very convenient. <laughs> you can put your, gimmick, your gimmicks in there, your furnums. To each their own. You can wear out. I and just... they're for sale at events also. Like, uh, <laughs> they don't give anyone hives. Don't don't tell anyone that. That's a dirty rumor. They're, they're for sale. We have some over there, by the way. Come, uh, come see us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come out, see him at a show. Get some uh, bandanas. Get some bandanas. Get some fanny packs. And hi- hiveless fanny some packs. Hiveless <laughs> fanny packs, by the way. Boone the Bounty Hunter DVDs. We got Wear a Loca pins. Get slam Town stuff. pins. Amazing. Everything that you want. That's Everything a you can want. Oh yeah, we, we got. Yeah. It. We have like a we we make jokes about how the fact is like we un- we unpack a store when we go to a sh- certain shows <laughs> because we have so much like stuff. Pro wrestling has become like half yard sale these days. Yeah, it's it's a lot. There. Everyone's got we like slam town flags now. Gimmicks. Like we have like that's incredible. So yeah. much stuff, but it's kind of fun too. Wrestling has its own eight by tens. 
Well, I obviously knew this before because I've interviewed you both separately, but seeing you together in this interaction, like you're absolutely adorable. So I was wondering, when you do have downtime, a lot of couples, if I interview them together, they mention that they're always watching movies or Netflix and stuff like that. So is that something that you find you do when you have that downtime? So you really are homebodies, I've heard. Um, yeah. Actually, so uh, oh. she, like Taya is a, is a big horror fan. And um, one of the one thing I thought we did that was really fun on our honeymoon was um, we would do an excursion and then we would uh, have some drinks by the pool and uh, together we wrote this horror comedy uh, Seriously? about an action figure that comes to life and goes on a and little murders massacre. Everybody. Um, and we're, we're planning on shooting it together. In a yeah, couple we're weeks. shooting it. Yeah, in September. Wow. Um, we wrote it together, half wasted at the pool. <laughs> On our honeymoon, it was really Swear great. your best ideas super, come out. Wow, super fun! And it was like our first project we go like we wrote together, um, and works. And that came from us, you know, my love of horror movies. Yeah. He really liked them, but I like made him watch she a bunch. He always wants then, to watch horror movies. Yeah, like, I always want to watch comedies at night. So okay, he I want to go to bed happy, right? Yeah. Finally, not scared. scared. He finally turned over a new leaf and started watching some funny. Like I like the campy horror that's kind of bit, that's bad. We discussed this in our yeah. chat. Like that's awesome. Horror, yeah. yeah, laughing at it. Uh, so we watched a bunch of that and. Gave up this idea and we wrote this project together and I'm excited to be able to show everybody. That's so, so cool! It's gonna come yeah. to fruition. I'm oh, stoked. Yes. Get stoked! Yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. gonna be the, the best horror movie to come out, short horror movie to come out in uh, 2019. Yep. Okay, I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Is there a I title yet? Yes, but we can't tell you. I would have to tell oh. you. It's super tough. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll wait. No well, spoilers okay. yet. No we'll spoilers have time yet. To do more interviews about this. Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. Like, They'll probably be probably sick of asking us and talking about, about, about anyone ever wants to hear <laughs> in 2019. Yeah. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> well, let's wrap things up. I do want to leave it with the fans because a lot, even since we spoke, since like at Slam Anniversary and since we spoke at Rise, so much has changed and it happened, I feel. So, anything you want to leave with everyone who's going to be viewing? Just parting words. I mean, just the same as always. Like, thanks tell, for tell them what's what, babe. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> thanks for you supporting us what's and uh, <laughs> what's supporting Johnny and his million of name, millions of names. Supporting me with my got more names than most people got titles. Yeah, that. Uh, and supporting me and, and you know coming out to indie shows and supporting you know professional wrestling and our different platforms and Impact Wrestling and Lucha Underground and. I got a fan you know, challenge. A you know what? I've like I've been I'm talking thankful. about peanut butter and Johnny forever. A lot of people have been asking me when is there going to be a peanut butter and Johnny T-shirt? Oh, like, really? Is there ever going to be a peanut there, butter and Johnny sandwich? I want the people watching this video to Photoshop a cool peanut butter and Johnny image <laughs> and tweet it to us three and let us know why your image should be the first peanut butter, peanut and, Johnny butter and Johnny T-shirt. Okay. If you don't do it, you're Ooh. stupid. <laughs> Gosh. Don't be stupid, guys. Come on. Don't 2018. be stupid. <laughs> be nice. I'm being nice. <laughs> I'm giving them alternatives. Peanut butter and Johnny, we love you. If you don't do it, you're stupid. I don't know. It's I want one of these shirts well, once I'm it happens. I'm interested to see what you can come up with. Yeah, so. please. Send it our way on, it's on creative, Twitter. It's a creative do it. theme. <laughs> Tweet us, y'all. I want to say thank you so much for joining me. It's always thank so you. fun having you guys on. Thank you. Thank you. And remember to everyone viewing, you visit us at alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya.